going to show you guys a little deal about SWR and power. I'm going to turn the tuner off. Okay. I'm going to take this radio here. We're going to go down to the Mon Antenna one. 20 six one zero 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 okay now so we're gonna key up look at that SWR it's over three okay my anyway, power set at 25 on the 300 watt scale we're gonna do a dead key look at that 21 not even 20 watts huh because the SWR is hot this is the importance of SWR and impedance and matching. The radio knows the SWR is high. This radio is enough to know that it's going to restrict power. Back over 30 watt carrier settings, we're at 25. Okay, see? Yeah. We're doing a measly 5 watts of power. What we're going to do is simply, we're on the 10 to 1 here, hold our tune button in. Now watch this. Through the magic of television, our SWRs are now 1.1. Okay, 1.1. Now we didn't change the power. Same power level. Now look at your meter. Buried. Meter is buried. Okay. This is the importance of SWR and tuning and impedance matching of your system. That was just a very quick example on a crazy dead frequency that showed you how much power loss I actually had from a high SWR down to a tuned SWR. I can further tune that by turning on the tuner and keying up and tuning into it here, letting it tune here. Now we're at a 1.0. Okay. But as, as you see, this is. This is how you gain or lose power on your transmission line. Um, by just having a simple, you know, as you say, we're tuned. Once you're totally tuned, you know, you got it. Now see, that will retune the SWR through the transmitter into here. Full power. So that's how it kind of works in fantasy land. But if you go to a frequency, let's go to 27 flat, okay? Turn the tuner off. There, 3 SWR. 3 SWR on 27 flat. Barely any power coming out of the box, see? Cutting the power again. That's how she works, boys and girls. Now, we're going to hold antenna tune. Watch that SWR go down. Let's go an SWR one to one. Look at our power. See the power went bike up. There you go. So, if you don't have an internal tuner, that's a really good idea to get yourself an external tuner. Uh, this is what these things do. The impedance match. Sure, it's it's great to have an impedance match antenna out of the box the best you could with an analyzer. Get it as broadbanded as you can and talk where you can. But I'm just showing, you know, things here in case you go out of your band a little bit. Uh, like we can go up onto 28, 4, 2, 5, 0, 0, okay. Nobody's up there. All right, and up here, our SWR is almost at 3. And we got low power. There we go. All right, so we do our tune. Power's down to 1 1 and it's back up. That's just a little example of you know what can be done with your radios with a proper impedance match or a fake impedance match on a tuner. I usually use the internal tuner first. If the internal tuner can't get it where I need it to be, I'll kick on the external tuner and go from there. But usually, yeah. The internal tuner can pretty much handle it. And then once it sees the low SWR, out goes the power. So there it is on meters. Nothing scientific, nothing fancy. No fancy crazy meters, but just basic stuff to show you. This is what a high SWR does to your power. 
and it's a reason you should have a matched antenna system and if you can't get a matched antenna system at least grab yourself a tuner take care